what is up guys welcome back to life from this hope you guys are doing well today <clears throat> we're going to be discussing swiss watch exports for the month of may they were released recently and let's just say it wasn't probably the best uh, results um, for the swiss watch industry uh, last month was a pretty harsh month as well um, it only continued to get worse so what we're going to do is we're going to go over april's results just give you a quick quick highlight reel of that if you haven't seen our video where we covered those it'll probably be in the side panel, but we also have a playlist where you can go check check that out. We'll also tell you about our predictions, which we made in that video, as well as on our blog post, and then go into the results for, for, um, for the month of May. Uh, but before we get into that, if you haven't already, be sure to smash that like button for us, really does help us out. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. If you like these types of videos, or if you like watches, you might as well just subscribe to the channel. <laughs> um, so just a quick summary of, of last month, uh, Swiss watch exports fell. Uh, 81%, which is a huge fall from this time last year. Obviously, um, this global pandemic that is going on has really taken its toll on on all types of industries, especially the luxury goods industry, which watches is one. And um, yeah, it really it really had a, a huge impact on Swiss watch exports. 81% is a big value. Um, China, Hong Kong, US, South Korea, and Japan were the top five markets, but still saw massive contractions of around 80%. China saw a contraction of about 16%. Um, my predictions for this month were that, you know, while this pandemic did, um, did kind of slow in May, but uh, of course it's kind of picking up again um, in, the month of, um, <clears throat> in the month of June. Um, I think there's still gonna be uncertainty. There was still, I thought that there was still gonna be uncertainty with, with the month of <clears throat> May and, and, and consumer habits. I thought there was going to be a, a contraction in watch exports for that month, but I didn't think it was going to be as harsh as um, as uh, April, which I think really was the, the focal point of this, this uh, disease. Um, so uh, I was um, I was I was correct in my assumption there. So after April's a 1% uh, contraction, Swiss watch exports fell uh, 68% uh, year over year compared to May 2019. So uh, a huge contraction there. The, if you look at the, the total Swiss francs of wrist watches and other products, you said it was 656 million Swiss francs worth of exports. So a huge decline for them. Over the last five months, it's been calculated that um, exports have fallen by 36% over the last five months, which is in a huge amount when you think about an industry that already is seeing some you know some holes being poked in it if you look at the 12 month moving average we're just we're just um we're very very close to being at a 15 percent negative 15 percent 12 month moving average of exports so um not the greatest month uh we we did turn negative uh last month officially we turned negative in april may the trend just continued to go down um, if we look at the wristwatches by material, um, we see the same kind of conversation that we've have been having for the last two months, you know, uh, a, a contraction of 71% total change and every single one of these categories are around 70%, um, which is, uh, really unfortunate. Um, it's at least in units sold. If you look at the, um, the, the uh, Swiss franc, uh, Swiss franc um, value of these watches. We saw obviously it's the contraction of 67%, but units 71%. So unfortunately, these watch manufacturers are just not moving moving pieces, which um, is, has really taken its toll, I think. Uh, and it shows that luxury goods are luxury goods for a reason. People are not gonna buy them when, when they don't have the means to do so. If we take a look at the main markets, you can see the top five are China, Hong Kong, Germany, US, Japan and UAE, all ranging in uh, negative changes from as low as 53%, which was Germany's year over year uh, change, all the way up to 79, a negative 79% change, which was the United States. Um, I mean, I, like I said, like, there really isn't much more that I can, I can say, you know, that it hasn't been said in some of these other videos. This has really affected these markets. Um, and uh, it's, it's crazy to think that, that they're just not moving pieces. Um, if you look at China's, um, if you look at the percentage share, uh, what's interesting about this is that the percentage share uh, of the market that these top five interest makes is around 54%. But if you break it out, it's pretty 
it's almost, it's not, it's not completely even, obviously China, Hong Kong are a little bit higher, but typically China and Hong Kong are actually a lot um, large, uh, they're a much larger piece of the pie when, when you look at results that were happening a year or two years ago. Um, they just, the, the, <clears throat> the share that they are um, making up of the, the main markets has really um, decreased. Moving on to um, the risk watches by price category. Um, again, it's, it is a slowdown in all price categories. Um, you know, if you look at the totals, you can see um, units, uh, unit change was negative 71%, value change negative 67%. <clears throat> it's just really hitting all price categories. There's nothing that's um, specifically being affected um, that, that um, that's causing this. It's just people are not going to be buying, people are not buying watches and I don't think that people are gonna buy watches for, for a little bit more time. Um, so I'm gonna move on to um, some of the uh, regions because I actually found this uh, quite quite interesting. So um, the Swiss watch exports are a region. Obviously, uh, if you look at the total the total value vari uh, variations, everything's negative. Uh, Africa was down 81 uh, percent. America's down 76 percent. Asia down 66 uh, percent. Europe down 66 percent, and then Oceania down 39 percent. Um, interesting one about uh, <laughs> Oceania. I'm not really sure what's really driving that. Um, it might just be that they hadn't purchased a lot of watches originally, and so the change was was negligible. Um, it's if you look at the the total value by share, Asia is half of the fifty percent of or fifty six percent of the total value share. So, um, you know, being that uh, Asia is down uh, sixty six percent, it's a big loss um, for Swiss watch industry. Um, I mean, there, there isn't much uh, that can really be said. You know, this is um, this is a sharp decline uh, for May. It's a sharp decline for watches because of this pandemic. And um, you know, now kind of moving into where I kind of look forward for the next month. June saw um, somewhat of a some good figures coming out of some countries, um, but it also saw bad uh, bad numbers coming out of others. Um, and, uh, you know, just anecdotally, you know, the U.S. Had, saw some type of uh, hope when it came to um, consumer spend numbers and um, infections rates remained slightly low, but started to creep up. And now they're, the United States is receiving, they're receiving, um, you know, the highest uh, case counts uh, since March, um, but nothing's really being done. No, no, nothing's really being, cl being closed. So um, yeah, I don't really know. I think some of these retailers are going to start opening up and trying to sell watches, um, but I don't really know if that's gonna have a positive effect or a negative effect. I think it might just have a negative effect um, because the, the, the virus will continue to spread. And as we go into, you know, we're, we're into the, the summer months in the Northern hemisphere. So once we start going into the winter months, um, things could get bad again. And um, I don't really know what to expect when it comes to, um, you know, what's going to be mandated as far as, uh, you know, shutting down um, economies or who knows. Um, my predictions for June, though, are that it's probably going to be still, it's still going to be negative results. It's probably going to be, I'm going to guess around like in the 40, 40 negative 40% 40 um, mark. I think things start to slowly open up. I know European countries who manage this uh, pandemic well uh, opened up nicely. And I think some of the stores started to, to do a little bit better. So, um, yeah, my, my, my predictions around negative 40%. Don't think it's going to be positive uh, news for them. The moving average is probably going to remain uh, in the negative territory, obviously. Um, and uh, yeah, it's just another, another hard time for, for Swiss watch exports, but, um, uh, you know, it, it is what it is. And, um, these are the, the things that this is the, the industry and the, the types of products that we really love. Um, I really love, and uh, I won't stop uh, following them just because they're having a, a harsh, a hard, um, a hard year. Um, I think, you know, if you look at, if you're trying to figure out, well, how how can we really bring this back? I think it's just a time thing. It's time and good policy. Um, if if uh, countries are smart, they make sure that they're opening up when it's appropriate, um, things will recover a little bit quicker, but um, 
with growing cases, people are going to remain anxious and remain um, cautious of going into stores and buying watches. So it's not going to, to recover as, as quickly as probably you know, we hope. I think the best thing that we, the Swiss watches can, can really do is just continue to make really high quality products so that when they do get out of here, out of this time, um, those watches are ready for, for the consumers to, to jump on. So um, yeah, those are the Swiss watch exports for May of 2020. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you haven't seen our coverage of April 2020, be sure to check that out. It's probably in the side panel, but we also have a playlist on our YouTube channel. You can check out where we discuss all um, all of Swiss watch export numbers, I think, as far as back as uh, November of 2019, I think we have, um, have have done this series. So be sure to check that uh, playlist out. Also, if you do need to be in the beginning of the video, be sure to hit that subscribe button for us. It really does help us out. You can follow these, um, these export uh, updates from us, as well as see some of the other videos that we uh, make about watches. And with that said, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. And until next time.